For today's video, let us answer the set of questions in the average round in the Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2018 Division Orals for Grade 9 and we are going to explain in details how to get the answer. On number 1, simplify 5 square root of 27 minus 3 square root of 12. So the rule in adding and subtracting radicals, we must have the same index and same radicand. So in our given, we have the same index, that is 2, but we have different radicand. So to simplify, we are going to factor the radicand. So let us have 5, and then the factors of 27, that is 9 and 3, minus 3, and the factors of 12, that is 4 and 3. So the square root of 9, that is 3. So we have 5 times 3, then the square root of 3, minus 3, the square root of 2, or 4 rather, that is 2, then the square root of 3. So let us simplify. 5 times 3, that is 15, square root of 3, minus 3 times positive 2, that is 6, square root of 3. 15 minus 6, that is 9 square root of 3. And this will be our answer. On number 2, if 6x plus 7 equals the quantity of x plus 2 square, solve for x. So to find the value of x, let us have 6x plus 7 equals, we have a square of binomial. So x multiplied by itself, that is x square. And then x times 2, that is 2x, times the constant 2, that is 4x. And then 2 multiply by itself, that is 4. And let us move 6x plus 7 on the other side of the equation. So we have x squared plus 4x minus 6x plus 4 minus 7 equals 0. So let us simplify. Let us have x squared, 4x minus 6x is negative 2x, 4 minus 7 is negative 3, equals 0. So let us find the factors of this equation. So the factors of x squared, that is x and x, and what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 3, and if we add, we can get negative 2, and that is negative 3 and positive 1. So let us equate this one to 0. x minus 3 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0. So x is 3 and x is negative 1. So the value of x is negative 1 and 3. And this will be our answer. On number 3, Find the range of values of k if x squared plus kx plus 5k equals 0 has no real roots. So to find the range of values of k, let us use the discriminant that is b squared minus 4ac, where a, that is 1, and b, that is k, c, that is 5k. So let us substitute this one to the given formula. So this will be k square minus 4 times a, that is 1, times c, that is 5k. And then let's equate to 0. So we have k square, negative 4 times 1 times 5k, that is negative 20k equals 0. So let us take k as factor. So this will be k minus 20. So we have k equals 0, and k equals 20. So therefore, the range of values of k is 0 and 20 exclusive. Or we can write as k greater than 0, less than 20. So this will be our answer. On number 4, in a triangle, a line parallel to the basis divides one side into segments 6 and 15 units long. If the other has 35, 
how long in units is each segment formed when the lines divide this side. So if you are going to have a triangle, let us have a triangle. And this will be the base. And let us have a parallel line to the base. Divides the segment into 6 and 15 units. And then the other side has 35. So the measure of this side is 35. And then let us add this one. So this will be 6 plus 15, that is 21. And we are looking for each segment. So let us represent this one as x. And this will be y. So since 35 is corresponding to 21, and let us have x, which is corresponding to 6. So we can cancel 21 and 6 because they are divisible by 3. So 21 becomes 7 and 6 becomes 2. So let us have 7 times x is 7x and then 2 multiplied by 35. So let us divide this one by 7. Let us, let us have x. 35 divided by 7 is 5 and 5 times 2 is 10. So the measure of this segment is 10. And since the measure of this side is 35, we can find the value of y by subtracting 35 minus x. So 35 minus x, that is 10. So the value of y will be 25. So therefore, our answer is 10 and 25. So this will be the measure of each segment. On number 5, isosceles trapezoid ABCD has parallel bases AB and CD and diagonals intersect at E. If AE equals 10, BE equals 3x minus 2, and DE equals 4x plus 1, how long in units is CE? So the first thing that we're going to do is to illustrate the given isosceles trapezoid. So let us have this one. So A, B, and C, D are the bases. And let us have a diagonal intersect at E. So the measure of A, E, that is 10. And then B, E, that is 3x minus 2. And then D, E, that is 4x plus 1. Since AE is equal to BE, we are going to have 10 equals 3x minus 2. And we are going to move negative 2 to the side of 10. This will be 10 plus 2 equals 3x. And let us have 10 plus 2, that is 12, equals 3x. Divide both sides by 3. So x will be 4. And... To find the measure of CE, let us substitute the value of X to DE because DE is equal to CE. So if we have CE, that is 4X plus 1, so the value of X will be 4. So 4 times 4, that is 16, plus 1, that is 17 units. So this will be the measure of CE. And this will be our answer. On number 6, the diagonals of a rhombus are 24 and 32. Find the length of each side. So let us illustrate the given rhombus. Let us have a rhombus. And we have a diagonal. So the measure of the diagonal is 24. So this will be 12. That is 1 half of 24. And we, this one is 32, this is 16. So we are looking for the measure of each side. Since the diagonal of a rhombus is perpendicular, so we can use Pythagorean theorem to find the measure of each side. So let us have 
x square equals 12 square plus 16 square. 12 square, that is 144, and 16 square, that is 256. So we have x square equals 144 plus 256, that is 400. And then let us square both sides. So x is square root of 400. And the square root of 400, that is 20 units. And this will be the measure of each side. So I hope you will learn from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.